Welcome back to Fireside Chats with Gaslight. Today we have Ben. Welcome, Ben. Hi. Thanks, Katie. Glad to be here. Joining us. I appreciate it. Um, Let's get right into it. So you are a developer. How did you become a developer? Um, So uh, like a lot of people at Gaslight or in the development world, I didn't always uh, work in development. I was actually um, in the construction field for a couple, quite a few years before getting into development. Did that for about eight years. And um, well, while I was doing that, I took a job. um, I was living in Chicago and I took a job in IT recruiting. And um, yeah, so I was um, actually like going out and talking and recruiting people who were working in development jobs, whether it was Java backend or or front end development. And I didn't really love the recruiting part and the cold calling aspect, but Mm -hmm. um, in order to kind of get better at my job and be more um, knowledgeable about some of the things I was talking about with these folks, I started to learning, started learning a little bit of uh, front end programming, front end development and got interested in it and kind of did it as a side hobby for a couple years. I got back into the construction business after that, and it was always something that hung around and was a hobby for me, and then eventually um, just decided I wasn't really too happy in the construction world, and in 2017, I decided to make a, uh, a big leap, and I did a tech boot camp uh, in Cincinnati called Tech Elevator, and it was a, it was a really good experience, and um, you know, jumped in full steam ahead and got into the development world. That's how I got into it. That's awesome. I think that's one of my favorite parts about Gaslight is that everybody has like such different backgrounds. It's not like they're just like, yeah, I went to college and now I do this. It's like, I did this, this, and this, and now I do this. Right. Yeah. Everybody brings kind of a a wide range of um, experience and talents to the table and everyone's kind of got some interesting backstories and it's yeah. it's cool to see how we've all kind of uh, gravitated towards doing development and design yeah. work and um, but bring a lot of that experience with us so very cool yeah it sounds like a blog post needs to be written I've, yeah I've uh, had something in mind of uh, you know that would help people who are kind of in the same position as me thinking about making that career change. Should I do it? Um, Yeah. I think I could really help some folks out that are um, kind of struggling with those questions. So I love this idea. You should, this is great. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to follow up with that. Yes, you will. (laughs) Okay. 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 So you are now a developer and then you came from tech elevator. So how did you find gaslight? So, um, I first met some people at Gaslight through a Friday morning coffee uh, mm-hmm. meetup. I was um, actually it was by recommendation of our pathway program director at Tech Elevator. Um, she had gotten in touch with Chris Nelson and was aware of the apprenticeship program. And a few of us went down there to just um, down to Gaslight's office to see what it was about. And I met a few people, um, really enjoyed meeting them. They were really smart and funny. I think I might have actually met you the first uh yeah i think uh you were one of the first people that i met from gaslight along with uh zach and scott hoffman and um was really just impressed where they were um, really good people and i thought man what a cool company it would be awesome if i could uh work at a place like this in a couple years when i get some experience and uh luckily enough you know a few months later i was working on a team with uh Um, as an apprentice, but working with Zach and Scott and some of those folks that I had met the first time. So it all, I don't know, it all fell into place. It was really, really a good experience. So Yeah, that's awesome. Good old, I feel like Coffee Fridays is like one of the best, one of the biggest things I miss right now during the pandemic. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's tough not having that, uh, you know, kind of weekly touch base with people and just being able to sit down without an agenda and, and just yeah. chat with what you're taught with, uh, you know, what you're yeah. interested in or and let people just come and hang out with us and learn about gaslight. Yeah, absolutely. So looking okay. forward to that when we, when we do get back in the office. Hopefully in, by 2021. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might be, uh, in the new year, but yeah. New Year, we'll, new us, everything will be great. Yeah, we'll get back there. Um, okay, so the biggest question, we already kind of touched on some things, but what is your favorite part about Gaslight? Yeah, um, 
So my favorite part would definitely have to be the people. Um, I've met so many good, good people while working here that are um, super easy to approach, um, very willing to help help you learn. You know, I was a, I was a new apprentice coming in without a whole lot of experience and a lot of um, uh, hesitations and I guess nerves coming into the into the um, development world and. Um, everybody at Gaslight did a great job of welcoming me, getting me up to speed, helping me with uh, any questions that I might have. And that, that continues on as I'm a, uh, a full-time employee, that, that support and that uh, um, group of people helping you has just continued throughout. And, um, you know, everything that, that is so good about Gaslight, like the culture and the office, I think it all stems from, uh, the people that work there and they've done a really good, uh, we've done a really good job of assembling a, a great team. I love the teammates that I've worked with and it's been a fun ride so far. So um, yeah, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this lovely fireside chat. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I appreciate your time and thanks everybody for joining us and listening in and until next time we are out.